have a quick tutorial on the most efficient and the fastest way to organize something like a project file. Uh, also how you can collect all the footage you used and put it inside a folder just within a few minutes by using a couple tools located within After Effects. So I know that before I had any of this information, I would spend a lot of time organizing my project file. It would take a long time because I would just do all of it manually. But I'm hoping that some of you guys aren't aware of this and you actually uh, learn something new from it. So to test all of this stuff out, I have a project file that has uh, what I call clutter. I basically just threw in a bunch of video, uh, audio files, and a couple pictures and I just put it into the project. None of it is actually used in the edit itself. It's basically just as it says, a bunch of clutter that isn't necessary for the project. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get rid of all of this kind of stuff without having to go through it because I know if you're making a big project, uh, there can be a ton of this stuff and it'll take a long time to go through. Um, at the same time, if you have a big project file and maybe let's say you have four or five overlays that you threw into the project, but you only actually ended up using one of them. This will help get rid of all of those unused overlays uh, just to make your project file a little bit smaller and just to organize it better. So right now all of this stuff is ungrouped. It's really hard to navigate through and this can be really important if you're interested in like selling a project file because you clearly, you know, you don't want to have any of your unused footage inside of it. You just want to use all of the essentials that were used inside the edit itself, not anything extra. Uh, that just makes it courteous to have to whoever's purchasing your uh, project file. So all of this stuff is going to be located within the file tab of After Effects. I'm just going to get right into it. If you go to file, go to dependencies and click on remove unused footage, it's gonna do exactly as it says. So it got rid of 10 uh, files or folders that were um, unused in the edit that weren't put in that any compositions, uh, which is basically all of those cluttered video and audio files. So that's one of the most important ones for me is getting rid of all of that unused footage. Um, but you can see here, there's still the uh, cluttered project file and this is because um, even though this wasn't used in the actual edit itself, it's basically just another project file for a different video, meaning that there are compositions and the footage was used in some of those compositions. So you still don't want to have stuff like this in your project files just because it's unnecessary. It doesn't actually go to uh, help in the actual edit itself. So if you want to get rid of something like this, a more intense way of clearing out your project is if you have everything on one composition like I have here, what I just like to call my main composition, um, and it basically has all your pre-comps, all your footage, all of your effects, and pretty much everything else you use in the edit, which if you don't do this, I definitely recommend that you do. Uh, go ahead, if you click on your main composition like this, go to File, go back to Dependencies, and click on Reduce Project. That's gonna get rid of every single item that wasn't used in this composition. So you can see all the pre-comps are here. Um, it still has everything in the edit. It just got rid of that extra cluttered folder because it wasn't used in this composition. So those two are gonna be really important for clearing out your project file. I'm just gonna go over everything else that was in that dependency section. Um, if you go to consolidate all footage, it's gonna get rid of all of your duplicates. So if you, let's say, threw in two clips that were the same, but you only ended up using one of them, this would get rid of that extra one. Uh, you could also do the same thing by clicking remove unused footage. Um, you can also find anything that's missing from your project. So if I go to like find missing footage, it tells me that the song is uh, missing here and you can see that with that little screen that pops up. Uh, so if I wanted to fix that, I would right click on it, go to replace footage, file, and you would basically just find wherever that song was located on your computer. Uh, you could also do this by typing the word missing into your search bar and that'll just do the same exact thing. Um, but for the most part, it looks like we have everything cleared out. Uh, it only has the folders that were used in your edit. so. I uh, got rid of all the clutter. There shouldn't be anything else that wasn't used in the main composition itself. So once you're at this step, uh, something really cool that you can do is if you go to file, go back to dependencies and click collect files, uh, it's gonna tell you to save it first. So we're gonna go ahead and save it there. 
And then when this screen pops up, you won't actually need to change anything. It just gives you a few notes on, uh, so it says it's gonna collect 31 files. It'll be about one and a half gigs. And it tells you that one item is missing, which would be the song. Uh, it also tells you all of the effects you use. So uh, that's gonna be helpful in, in a little bit. And I'll show you guys a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, if you just double check everything here, go ahead and click collect and it'll tell you where you want to save it. So uh, this is gonna be the name of the folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it like it is. And it's copying all of the files and it's gonna save your project. And in a second, it should pop up. So you should get a folder like this which has a text document and it actually gives you a report of um, like when you created the folder, the name of the project, um, all of your compositions, which is kind of helpful, all of the files as well as the size of your video. Um, this right here is gonna be the location of all of those files in case you need to find them in the future. So if I wanna find this cinematic to reuse it, it tells me that it's right here. Um, it tells you the number of items that are missing, so like the song, and something cool is it has all of your effects that you use. So let's say you download a project file, but it says you're missing a few effects. Uh, you can come in here and it'll tell you everything that you um, used in that project. So like this, if you don't have Plexus, you can just look at it right here and it'll say, okay, uh, you need to get Plexus if you wanna continue um, going on with this uh, project file. So along with this, it's gonna have the project file itself and it'll have a folder here called uh, footage. So you click on that and it has all of your compositions that have footage inside of them. So like here, it has my uh, clips and cinematics composition. Uh, if I go to cinematics, it has all of my cinematics copied here. Uh, same with all of the clips copied on here and as well as anything like overlays. Uh, you can see that the song isn't located in here because like it said, it was missing. So it wasn't able to copy it. Um, but that can actually be useful if um, because you don't want to, uh, reproduce and sell that person's song. So it's good to get rid of that person's song from your, uh, folder. But for the most part, everything is in here that was used. It has a couple other videos that were used in the edit and all of it is located within one folder, wherever you decided to save it. Um, and right here, like it said, it would be about 1.4 gigabytes. So that's gonna be the most efficient way to organize something like a project file. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this video and um, that's pretty much gonna be it. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for tutorials, but I will see you guys in the next one.